So I was in Buffalo, New York a couple weekends ago for one of our quarterback and wide receiver camps. And I was just, you know, normal trip, like we land, we go get a rental car from the rental place. And as I'm walking up to get the rental car, there's a gentleman standing there and he goes, oh, what the hell are you doing here, man? And I'm like, what is this? Who is this guy? Like, I've never, I've never met this guy before. I've never even been to Buffalo. What, what is this? And this guy starts giving me crap because we made a video a little while back about the best states for football. And so this guy lives in obviously Buffalo, New York, but he moved there from Alabama and he was all pissed off because I didn't include Alabama in my list of the top football states. I didn't really think of it, but that possessed me to make this type of video, kind of despite this guy, but also to give you guys some info on what the best football states are out there. Now, we're not going to talk about the big three states, California, Florida, Texas. We're going to talk about the states that nobody really talks about, that has a ton of talent that produces college prospects and NFL prospects every year. Now, we're going to list out the top five states. Coming in at number five, is Alabama. Now, maybe the guy was right on some level. He was trying to tell me that, oh, well, you know, there's a lot of guys that you haven't heard of that, you know, were really good, but they didn't pan out because they got in trouble. It's like, I really don't care if they got in trouble. They kind of blew their opportunity. So they really don't factor onto this list, but they do have some guys that I think are worth mentioning. This is not the people who played at the University of Alabama. These are people who grew up in Alabama and played high school sports out there. So we got Phillip Rivers, Julio Jones, T.O., so Terrell Owens, and Demarcus Ware, just to name a few. There are a couple other that maybe you young guys haven't heard of, but Alabama is number five on the list. Now this next area, guys, I feel gets disrespected every single time somebody makes a list about the top football talent, and that is the DMV. So Washington, D.C., Maryland, and Virginia. There, guys, like especially with current players, current skill position players, this is one of the craziest lists of talent that I've ever seen. So they got Stephon Diggs, Trayvon Diggs, Chase Young, which is a defensive lineman, Russell Wilson, Michael Thomas, and Joe Hayden. Just to name a few, the list is long for the DMV. So I think they get disrespected a ton anytime they make a list of the top football states. Now, before we get into our top three football states, not named California, Florida, or Texas, guys, if you're a quarterback or receiver and you're watching this video and you want a daily custom workout schedule that you could do in the off season, check out that very first link in the description below. For our new custom workout plan service, what you'll get access to is a document where I'll tell you, hey, I wanna see these clips of film. You'll send that film to myself personally. I'll give you a breakdown, audio, video, draw on the screen you need to improve in these areas. And then I will make you a field and gym workout schedule specifically tailored to the areas you need to improve on. So it's just like training with me in person, you guys. It's a two-month daily schedule to get you through the remainder of this offseason. So if you guys want some more information on that, check out that very first link in the description below. Let's get back to our list. Now, coming in at number three, I feel is another state that gets heavily disrespected in this conversation, and that's Pennsylvania. Guys, you gotta understand how big Pennsylvania is. It's a big state. There's a ton of talent that comes out of Pennsylvania every single year. Just to name a few, you got Marvin Harrison, now Marvin Harrison Jr., all from the like, Philadelphia area. You got Darrell Revis, best DB of all time. You got Joe Namath, which is a little bit old school, but one of the best quarterbacks to play the game back in the day. You got Aaron Donald, probably the best defensive lineman to ever play the game. I would say. You got Joe Montana, top three quarterback all time. And then Matt Ryan, who's probably going to be a Hall of Famer. I would I would think so, right? Matt Ryan, obviously very talented quarterback. Even just playing the NFL, got to have some talent. But that's a, just to name a few in the state of Pennsylvania. So I, that's why they're number three on my list. Coming in at number two is going to be Georgia. Now, I know a lot of you probably thought I was going to say Georgia is number one, but there's a reason why Georgia is not number one in my book. But Georgia is number two, and it's very, very close between them and between them. And honestly, Georgia, guys, it's a very small state. I think per capita, they send the most players to the NFL, which is very, very impressive. But I just think the number one state has a, is maybe a little bit more impressive. So you got Calvin Johnson. He's from Georgia, one of the best wide receivers of all time. Tyree Kill is going to go down as one of the best wide receivers of all time time. Darius Slay, Deshaun Watson, Trevor Lawrence, Justin Fields. While a lot of those guys are still maybe considered unproven, they're still very, very talented. And we see them playing obviously every single Sunday. So Georgia, ton of football talent. And I think in a couple of years with all of the youth and high school talent that they have, especially the quarterback position, they're going to surpass a lot of the big name states that you know. Now, when I made that video that that guy in Buffalo that I met was talking all that trash at the rental car place, um, a lot of people in the comments of that video were talking a lot of trash because I left out this specific state. And after doing some research, my mind changed completely, Louisiana. Now, I've never personally been to Louisiana, New Orleans. We haven't had a camp there yet. We will definitely in the future, but a lot of talent in Louisiana and they don't get enough credit because I think that maybe, maybe they're so far removed from everybody. I don't know what the case is, but just to name a few, you got Peyton and Eli Manning. Odell Beckham Jr., 
Ed Reed, Reggie Wayne, Dak Prescott, and the list goes on. If you want to read a long list, look up NFL players from Louisiana. It's absolutely insane. So that's why Louisiana is number one on my list, just from this list of guys that they have who are currently in the NFL and are dominating in the NFL.